Photos Taken Before Tragedy, Episode 8. And if water scares you, especially deep water, don't watch. So pictured here, you're going to see Tina Watson right over here laying down. And this is her husband, Gabe Watson. They were on their honeymoon in Australia scuba diving. As you can see, it appears Gabe left his wife's body laying down at the bottom of the ocean floor. And further investigation by the coroner found that it was likely Watson had killed his wife by turning off her air supply and holding her in an underwater bear hug. Gabe would ultimately be charged by authorities in Queensland with his wife's murder, but plead guilty to manslaughter and serve 18 months. This is Audrey. She was one of the best free divers in the world, and on an attempt to break the 160 meters no limit free diving world record, she ended up dying. Her death has a lot of controversy surrounding it because upon reaching the 171 meters to break the record, she opened the air valve on the tank to inflate the lift bag, which would raise her rapidly to the surface, but the cylinder had no air in it. A rescue diver on the scene quickly used his air supply to fill up the bag, but it wasn't enough air to get her to the surface quick enough. The dive that was supposed to only take three minutes ended up taking eight and a half minutes after her husband, who wasn't prepared, had to put scuba diving gear on to retrieve her body. Much of the diving community actually attacked her husband because he hurried this underfunded record attempt. I guess it had been planned for a later date and had too few safety divers and not enough proper rescue equipment and no doctors nearby. He also was in charge of her lift bag air tank and would not allow any other team members to check the tank had been properly filled. Stephen Keenan drowned while overseeing the dive of another world record holder attempting to cross the arch of the Red Sea's notorious blue hole. Alessia was trying to do this in one single breath, and she became disoriented, so Keenan rushed to save her. He ended up guiding her to the surface, but on his way up, he blacked out and drowned. This is David Shaw. He died trying to retrieve the body of Dion Dreyer, who had been lost 10 years prior down in Bushman's Hole. This is a picture of David Shaw at Bushman's Hole, but complications getting Dion Dreyer's body into the retrieval bag at 800 feet cost him his life. This is the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, considered to be the largest marine spill in history. According to an investigation, a bubble of methane gas escaped the well and shot up the drill column. That expanded quickly as it burst through several seals and barriers and then exploded. The U.S. Coast Guard immediately launched a rescue operation looking for these 11 men, but they were never found. It ended up being one of the biggest environmental disasters in history. And if you're interested, they did make a movie called Deepwater Horizon, which stars Mark Wahlberg. And it's rated 7.1 on IMDb, so it's pretty solid.